Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. It is Wellness Wednesday. We're here at the kitchen at the Buena Vista Edible Schoolyard. And joining me today is Matt Payne with Morrison Healthcare and Adventist Health and Dr. Benjamin Hall with Kaiser Permanente. And uh, what are we making today? We've got a lot of lemons here. We do. Uh, end of the season for lemons, and uh -huh. so today we're going to make preserved lemons, uh, especially if you have a lemon tree in your, in your yard or you just have find yourself with a ton of lemons. This is a great thing you can do. These will hold for up to a year. Once really? you preserve them, oh, you can wow. keep them in your fridge okay. for up to a year, and you can add great lemony taste to many, many things. And what's great, too, about lemons, you know, you can put it, it's so versatile. I mean, you can yes. put it on anything, and mm -hmm. you can probably even make lemonade, right? Exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't perfect. necessarily <laughs> recommend this because you yeah, already have that's a bit true. of salt that in is true. Yeah, that is true, yeah. But anything where, you know, you're doing a stew. We're actually going to use these a month from now uh, to make a tangine. Oh, okay. And so we're going to show Great. how to use these present preserved lemons a month from now. So basically, uh, what anything, that means is stick around for next month, and you'll exactly. see how we can use these. Okay. So what are we doing? All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we have our lemons. We're going to take off each end, and we're going to quarter it, but we're not going to go all the way through. Okay. Easy enough. Yep. And again, super simple. Right. Uh, in here, we have a mixture of salt and sugar. So it's two parts salt to one part sugar. Okay. And then from here, this is the fun part. Split them open, get a bunch of this. It's going to get a little messy. Uh, if you have kids, this is a great thing to have them do because they get to fling it everywhere and it vacuums up really easily. And it seems you're pretty, you're being pretty generous yes. with that. Be All generous. Right. Uh -huh. uh, if there's salt down at the bottom, that's great. Right. That's what we want. Okay. One, there's Dr. Hogg, why yes. lemons, why citrus, why should we have these in our diet? Yeah, I think we all know that citrus is a great source of vitamin C, but the benefit is when you pair that with iron, such as taking iron pills or foods rich in iron, it actually increases the absorption. It can help treat anemia. Oh, that's, that's great. And again, it's great on so many different types of food. Mm -hmm. So this is great that we're preserving them for other recipes. Yes. I can't believe that they can stay up to a year, you said? Up to a year. Wow. So give them a good toss. From here, let them sit in your fridge overnight. Okay. One of the big things, we do have them in metal right now. You want to put in either ceramic, plastic, or glass container. Mm -hmm. You want something non-reactive. Okay. Uh, because it is an acid, it can leach out a little right. bit. And right. Kind of get some off flavors to it. Uh-huh. So here we have a batch we made last night. So we're gonna give them a little toss. And if you look, there is a ton of liquid down at the bottom. Right. That's what we That's want. That's okay. That's good. We have our sterilized mason jar right here. And just plop them in and give them a good squish. When you preserve them, you'll find the flesh, you know, the, the pulp on the inside mm -hmm. pretty much goes away to nothing. Listen, you're just left with that rind, and that's what you want. That's uh -huh. where all the flavor is. Uh-huh. So Would this be in. a good substitute for lemon juice? And for future recipes, would you use this instead of lemon juice? Yes. So you're just going to kind of shift it on, cut up the, the rind a little bit, and throw that in whatever okay. you Perfect. want. Perfect. And I guess when you're also putting it into the uh, into the mason jar, you can also get a little workout. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And this is one of those great things. You don't want to use this right away. You want to have at least right. three weeks. After three weeks, you're going to start developing umami. We talk a lot about umami on the show, and it's great. It just makes things taste so much better. Right, yeah. So again, so squeeze it down. You want to make sure the liquid's covering the top. Okay. Seal it up. If you want to, put a date on the top, and that way you know exactly when it ends, you know when to take it out again. And again, up to a year in your fridge. So Perfect. Amazing. Again, extra lemons, do this. And I know there's a lot of people here in Kern County who have lemon trees mm -hmm. and, and so forth. So this is a great way to, to not waste your lemons yes. and, and have the benefits all year long. Thanks so much for showing us this. This no, is great. great. All right, so this recipe will be on our website, kget.com. We'll be back after.